This video will be our first in the series on the lymphatic system and its anatomy. And first we are going to cover the three major functions of the lymphatic system. In your circulatory system, at your capillaries, blood is filtered through the capillaries. And during that filtration process, fluids are forced from the blood into the interstitial spaces. This fluid that's now in our interstitial spaces is going to be picked up by the lymphatic system and recycled back into venous circulation to replace the volume of blood that was lost during that filtration process. If we didn't reclaim this fluid, then our tissues would just fill and fill with fluid, and that fluid would never go back into the blood. Our volume of blood would fall drastically, and we wouldn't be able to push it around our blood vessels anymore because it would be so viscous from the quantity of red blood cells and proteins um, that would be much, much higher than normal and the very small quantity of actual fluid in the blood. So our lymphatic system works in fluid recovery and recycling. So we absorb these interstitial fluids from all of the spaces of our body and these fluids are going to contain hormones and electrolytes and cell products and all of that good stuff but they may also contain foreign cells or chemicals and pathogens that have made it into our tissues. So before this fluid can be returned to the circulatory system, the fluid is inspected very carefully and cleaned by different parts of our lymphatic system to ensure that none of these foreign cells or pathogens are going to freely wander our body. So our lymphatic system houses many, many immune cells and functions in both nonspecific and specific immunity. Thirdly, in our small intestines, we have many blood capillaries that are going to absorb our nutrients. However, our dietary lipids cannot be absorbed into our bloodstream. So these lipids are put into little packages called chylomicrons. And these chylomicrons are expelled from the cell via exocytosis and then they move into our lacteals which are a portion of a lymphatic vessel in the small intestine and these lacteals take up the chylomicrons and then put those chylomicrons into circulation with the rest of the lymph um, as our lymph drains into our subclavian veins. Those chylomicrons can then, through our bloodstream, travel to our liver for processing. But they cannot be absorbed by the capillaries in the small intestines, so instead, our lymphatic vessels called lacteals in the small intestines are in charge of lipid absorption. If you have any questions, please never hesitate to contact your instructor.